welcome to behold he comes a god giving message to the whole world at this time and when i say the whole world i'm talking about the listening world the world that has ears to hear and the wisdom to react positively to what the Lord is saying. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you love us. No wonder the Bible says, for God so loved the world. For the love you love us, you still send your only begotten son. The Bible says that you that have that that spared not your only begotten son. How will you not with him give us all things? You are so loving, so kind, so wonderful. Ah, oh Lord, we thank you. That even now the end has not come. Just because of your long suffering, just because of your love, you do not want us to perish. You don't want anybody to go to hell. Ah. Oh Lord, thank you for this love. Be exalted, Lord, forever and ever in Jesus. Please help us. Help us to be obedient. Help us to hear you, to listen. Help us to do what you want us to do. Help us to get prepared. So that when the time comes, you will take the glory of our life. Thank you, Lord. Be exalted forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We need to move forward. And as we move forward, we are going into events after rapture. Events after rapture. So, this is another series from the uh, Behold, he, I mean, Before He Comes, Before He Comes series. You can call this one part five, but I want you to know that it has been prophesied and it will come to pass. Nothing can stop it. The only question is when. And the way, I tell you, is not long way. It's a very close by way. The timing of the rapture. When it happens, what else? Let's look at that first Thessalonian again, where the Bible make it clear to us that there will be a catching up of believers. First Thessalonians chapter 4, we read it from verse 14 uh, for clarity's sake. Verse 14. He said, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also we sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall ascend, shall descend. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangels. And with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. We are for Comfort one another with these words. That is the sure prophecy of 
a rapture. We shall be caught up. We shall be. I shall be caught up. You shall be caught up if you are in Christ. Everyone who is ready shall be caught up. And God is waiting. Jesus is waiting. Waiting for me. Waiting for you. I tell you that after rapture, series of events will follow. Series of events will follow in the heavens. Series of events will follow on the earth. That's what we want to look at today. Oh, we're not able to look at it in the last in the last uh, presentation because of uh, the passage that we were look, we will look at. That was uh, that Ezekiel chapter thirty three. Make sure that you continue reading that chapter and continue meditating over it. All right. For the saints, what next after rapture? I'm talking about those who were who are raptured, those believers who make it to the sky to meet Jesus in the sky. What else for them? And then for those who remain on the earth, the believers that are left behind. What else? And for the rest of the world, what else? So we'll be looking at this in series. So this week, let's look at what is next for the saints that rise up, that were cut off to meet Jesus in the sky. The first thing you will see from where we have read in that first Thessalonians chapter 4, in verse 17, he ended up by saying, Thus shall we be with the Lord forever. So that means the separation is permanent. Separation between saints and sinners is permanent. Separation between the faithful and the unfaithful is permanent. There is no going back and there is no a re Re, redo? No. It is done. You see? So, it said, forever the saints shall be with the Lord. Also, in First Corinthians chapter 15, 42 and 43, First Corinthians chapter 15, 42 and 43, Verse 42 and 43 says, So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is, so, it is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in natural body. It is raised in spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. That is what we are turned to. Every saint that is cut up loses the power of gravity. One. Two. They are changed. They are changed from this body of corruption to incorruptible body. So you discover that we are changed into the kind of body that we fit ever. That is why the change is permanent. The separation is permanent. The, 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 it's, it's not going to happen. I mean, there's not a redo, there's no comeback. No, because we don't have the body of the earth anymore. Those who are caught up don't have the earthly body anymore. They are they have shed off the earthly body for heavenly body. They have shed off the natural body for spiritual body. 
they have shared up the weak body for powerful body. They have shared up the dishonored body for glorious body. They have shared up the corrupted, corruptible body for the incorruptible body. Ha! What a glory. What a glory. I pray you will not miss it. I pray I will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. Pray to yourself. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will not miss it. I will not miss the rapture. Pray now. Say, Father, help me never to miss the rapture. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord will help you. You need to help yourself too. Make sure you stay connected. That is your own duty to do. And that's my own duty to do. Stay connected to Jesus. God will help us in Jesus' name. So, brethren, after we got there with a new body, heavenly body, with a body that cannot come back down, that will remain forever with the Lord, what else and what next? There are two particular events. The first one, is called the judgment seat of Christ or Bema seat. Bema seat of Christ. Two is the marriage supper of the Lamb. The marriage supper of the Lamb. They follow themselves in that sequence. The first one is what I call the 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 Bema seat judgment of Christ. That means the saints will be judged. What kind of judgment is the saints receiving? It's not a judgment that will take them to hell fire. No, no, no. They they have they have. They have gone beyond hell. No more, nothing like hell for saints. Because they are overcomers. They have no sin in their life. That's why they were caught up. They were raptured at the first time. They are wholly sanctified for the Lord. So they are ready for heaven. They live in heaven. But the judgment is that of judging the work that believers did when they were here on the earth. How fervent, how faithful, how enduring. Everything you do for the Lord as a believer, as a child of God, as a worker in the vineyard, as a minister in the vineyard, as a pastor, general overseer, everything you do in the, for the Lord is on record. And we will receive the reward. The time of reward is the time of the rapture. Rapture comes, then we get to enter into common. Come and receive your reward. I pray the Lord will give us the grace to be part of it that you will not miss your rewards in Jesus' name. All your labor of love. Bible says that all your labor of love shall not be forgotten by God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He will not forget it. He will repay you. So if it is only you, go ahead. If it is, if, 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 if it has to take your sleep, take your money, take your time, doing the work of the Lord, go ahead. Because it's not in vain. It is not, not, not in vain. You remember <coughs> what the Bible says in that First Corinthians chapter 15, the last verse, the last verse of First Corinthians chapter 15. Listen, he said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. 
always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, your labor will receive reward. You will receive reward for every labor in the name of Jesus. So you receive reward of all things that you have done unto the Lord. Hallelujah. This is, this is the plan of God for you. This is what God has said we happen. This is part of the prophecy. And it will come to pass. It will come to pass. First Thessalonians chapter 2. Let's look at verse 19 and verse 20. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter 2. Chapter 2. We go to read 19 and 20. 19 and 20. Those are the last two verses. For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming for ye are our glory and joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, it's going to happen. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Listen, he said, and behold, I come quickly. He is coming. There's nothing, no gain saying about it. And my reward is with me as he appears in the sky for the saints, saints that are dead, saints that are alive. And they all gather together with him. His reward is with him. And the next thing he goes to do is to give every man according as his work shall be. Every man according as his work shall be. So what are you doing now? Why are you in the house of God and you are not doing anything? Why are you counting years and you still sit down on the pew? You still sit down on the chair. Cleaning, you cannot do. Sanitation, you cannot do. Even greeter, standing and greeting people coming in, welcome, God bless you. You cannot even do. Talk less of evangelizing. Talk less of following up. Talk less of watching the feet of the disciples. The reward is certain. And Jesus will give the reward. We are going to receive crowns. We are going to receive stars on our crowns. Depending on how we fear. How we are assessed. God is taking note of everything. God is taking note. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not miss your reward in Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus I will not miss my reward in Jesus' name. In the next week, by the grace of God, because I have to round up now, we will be talking about those crowns, those special rewards for special Special activities, special uh, 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 commitments of the saints. We have five major crowns. We will be talking about them next week. Brother, sister, Mr. Mrs., you are able to listen to me because you are alive. I tell you, the rapture can come right now.
please. Surrender your life to Jesus. Let Jesus have his way in your life. Say yes to him. Say yes to him. He has been knocking. He has been asking. He has been looking for you long time. You see where we read in Ezekiel chapter 33. In that verse 11, verse 12. He said he, he doesn't have pleasure in the death of the wicked. Who is the wicked? The sinner. Who refused to give his life to Jesus. That is what he said. He said that he is not willing for you to die. I tell you, God is long-suffering. We have said that in one of the series we had before. God is long-suffering. Just because of me and you waiting that we will just get it right. And we'll be able to make it to his kingdom. Please give your life to Jesus. It is well with you. We'll end up right now. And uh, I pray that God Almighty will keep us. If Jesus tarries to come, tarries to come, and we are still alive next week, we will meet in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Stay safe and stay blessed in Jesus' name.